Well, we're proud to have the fifth annual Power Fest here in the 8th Council District at Martin Luther King Park. One of our finest community events all year long. Uh, a lot of the beauty and art and, and joy in our community gets showcased on this one day here in Martin Luther King Park. So we are here with Karen Lane, the Vice President of Policy for the Community Coalition. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. Very excited. This is our fifth annual Power Fest, and so we're having a good time. Lots of folks are out, and so just really happy. Amazing. And so tell us about uh, this event, the Power Fest, how it came about, and what it's designed to do. So uh, this is our fifth annual Power Fest. Uh, we use arts and culture to bring people together, to reclaim our public space, and to build civic power. Um, the real purpose of the event is to actually um, educate folks about what's coming up on the next uh, ballot and next election, um, and get them involved, get them registered, uh, get them connected to other community and grassroots organizations so they can play an active role in transforming their neighborhood. King Park is a park that we uh, really had an a intentional effort around with residents in the surrounding community. Um, nine, ten years ago, this park had become overrun with drugs and, and prostitution, and it really wasn't a space where uh, neighbor uh, people who live in the neighborhood could actually come and enjoy the family space. And so residents came together, gang interventionists came together to really come up with priorities, and um, reclaiming this public space was a huge one. Uh, and so we fought to get more city resources, to have a baseball field, to have a basketball, to have a family programming, to have uh, summer night lights for the young people. Um, and so Power Fest was uh, really the culmination of that fight, uh, where we wanted to have an annual uh, music festival in South Los Angeles that residents across South LA could come to uh, and really celebrate um, you know, living in South LA and being a resident and not have to travel outside of their community to enjoy music and art. Taking back the park is very, very important. It shows the world. This park can showcase great music events just like Hollywood Park or Santa Monica Pier or Griffith Park or anywhere else, anywhere in Southern California. We think South LA is the place of the most creativity, some of the most beautiful music, some of the most popular art, some of the most amazing dancing, some of the amazing spoken word. All of that uh, can be showcased here in the community where a lot of it is created. Well, we got to bring it to folks' attention that how important the elections are, especially the ones that are between presidential elections. If you look at the polling data and you look at uh, the data that elected President Barack Obama twice by wide margins, we know that if those people voted every time, we'd have the best health care system in the world, we'd have the best education system in the world, we'd have the best transportation system in the world. The United States would be the land of opportunity that it says it is for everybody. So we have a new generation of voters. What would you say to encourage those voters this election season? You know, we are in a really good position politically, and I think as communities of color, as poor and working communities, we're always on the defense. Um, but in this moment, politically, we're actually on the offense. And so how do we seize this moment to really move um, our, our government, our public systems, to work for poor and working people and for people of color and communities of color? And so really, the, the young people, will, they're the vote that we need to have a solid voting block to really make some change and make some impact and how this uh, country and this state and this city functions. And so we really want to encourage young people to come out. You're always termed the new and occasional voter, and that new and occasional voter really is the tipping point for most elections. And so the power that young people have is tremendous, and we want to cultivate that and make sure we're moving, you know, progress, people power progress. People power progress. So you guys get out there and vote. It sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. So much, Thank Karen. you. Thank Appreciate you it. For your Thank time. You. Thank you. Uh, always happy to be in the house with the Los Angeles Sentinel, with our, our good friend, the publisher, Danny Bakewell Sr., and the Bakewell family, and everybody that makes the Sentinel one of the most important papers west of the Mississippi.